Alrighty, I think we're good. So on the left hand side is our newest piece of music called Metaverse Aspire 1, which sounds like this. On the right hand side is Sidearms Metaverse Slideshow using that music, which goes like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound. Renew one thing. Keep moving forward. Manifest. Kite and recap. We re-entered by reflecting that we are entering new metaverse projects called The Paper. We've been gathering all kinds of material, such as comics related to teamwork and collaboration. We had posted and shared the thing you just saw on the right, which we created in this episode. A lot happened in this episode. Here's where we designed the music that you just heard a second ago. And we mashed it to the video, which you heard over here, a previous slideshow. And then we started a whole new project called the Carol Meredith Interview Video Edit which looks like this. Performing in virtual reality behind the scenes with Carol Meredith Artistic Director Spirit Light Dance Company. And we were playing things that look like this. Film is on now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna TP you here. Okay. And we did this interview live. Uh, we recorded it live. And then, and then we time stamped it and we overlaid it with recordings from we had also taken. Welcome to the Theater of Light. Thank you for joining us today as we present Phoenix Rising specially created for Rockcliffe and the Virtual World's Best Practices in Education Conference. We enter spring looking for positivity and inspiration. And then we interviewed them some more. And they told us about what is the Spirit Light Dance Company and how do they teach, for example, here. <laughs> how do you teach dancers in a virtual environment platform? Well... First off, they have to have the desire. Then we showed more examples. Choreograph. Doing five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And then summarizing the whole thing in this master blog post, which looks like this. Who is Carol Meredith? What is the Spirit Light Dance Company? What is Phoenix Rising? The show. And then the matched company overview, solo dance demos, stage set demos, dancing with avatars, where we actually, this was a fun one. Where, where we did a dance animation demo here. If I clicked one of these balls, what would happen? Just that's important is that a lot of times well I thought we had three you know and so we can see them better when they're... if I clicked one of these balls what would happen gonna get a note accept it and be on the left side of the you notice I'm entering and I'm doing something go. different now because sure my are. group is as group one and you're in in pose now while I'm dancing now it doesn't have to be you could be dancing at the same time I am but then the audience would be distracted so you noticed that, and that is a classical technique. So we did that. So that was a fun part. So a lot got done. So what we're going to do to bring us home is we're going to go ahead and play the, the slideshow, because this is our metaverse work area, and this is our music 
and then the vid edits. Uh, we had a lot of realizations from that, which we'll summarize in a minute. But first, we want to kind of finish playing this. Starts here. So that concludes today's episode. What we really like about the whole episode is getting so many things done in the theme of composing and vision and sound. Here we had the composing and sound on the left. We had adding the vision on the right. We combined it with our metaverse work, which is it's kind of conceptual and yet very timely in real life. We really, really liked uh, going to this show at a conference and getting totally enthralled with how they made this work and be visually engaging and musically engaging and the animations of the avatars synchronized and the lush scenery. Uh, what we learned from this is a lot of stuff under the reflections, but one of the things is, uh, fortunately for us, uh, the way this dance company works is they only use music that is permitted to be shared on YouTube. So uh, all of these videos uh, that I made where I included, you'll see that Diva Shri, which is that Indian Bollywood piece, is a piece of music that is permitted to be used. And there's also a later part with Phil Collins, which is permitted to be used because it's licensed to YouTube. So that works. Nevertheless, <laughs> personally, we're a little finicky and we like working with our music that we uh, are licensing to be used. Nevertheless, this has opened up a whole new area for us in composing and vision and sound. And we are familiar with finding music that's allowed to be used because it's licensed to YouTube. Sadly, this music is not licensed to be used to Twitch. So, um, the parts of our video on demand, we had to delete them eventually because all that good music got muted. But that's why in this recap, we are not playing you long pieces. We invite you, we invite you to go to our um, YouTube channel and watch all this stuff if you'd like to see the actual performances. So, shout outs to Automate, Mr. Spatz, and Silent Lurker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming. <laughs>